Watch this before getting Descript. Today I want to give my honest review on Descript. I want to talk about some of the pros that I like about the tool and also some of the cons that I don't like about it and also some other alternatives and things to think about at, when it comes to creating videos and editing as a whole, right? By the way, my name's Chris, I'm a video nerd. This isn't some AI avatar video. I'm a normal, real human being. This is a real background, etc. And what I wanna do here is I wanna jump into Descript and just show you the processes that are actually gonna show, like save you tons of time and uh, some of the feedback I've heard from some of my students and clients when it comes to using Descript. And I just wanna get right to the point with it. So there's two versions of Descript kind of, right? And this kind of uh, gets confusing for people. So what you can do is actually you can get you can use the video editor at descript.com or you can use the web-based program that you can download for your computer. And people are always like, "Well, what should I use, Chris?" And my advice would be to download the app because it's going to move faster than the browser. Cuz you have to remember with a lot of these editors in browsers, it takes a little longer because it has to upload to their servers. And if you have like a, a, a 4K video that has to upload, it can be two gigs of space, you know what I mean? So get the app. Um, so this is what the app looks like. Um, or let's go to the website first. They're, they're almost exactly the same. Like if I click the home button, they look almost identically the same. So it kind of, you know, it, it's up to you. So when you get to the dashboard, it seems a little overwhelming. It says, hey, do you want to make a podcast? Do you want to create social clips? Do you want to fix your eye contact? All you need to do is throw your video into a new project. So just click a new project, and then it's going to ask you to upload your video. This is, this is what you want to do. So then just get inside a video. And what I did was I shot a demo video for this situation, just so you guys can kind of take a look at it. And what happens is it takes a minute to upload, right? And you'll notice it looks a little weird. What happens is on the left-hand side here, the transcript is what's being shown on your video. And what this tool does, Descript uses your, it uses AI to read your transcript of your video. So what, what I tend to do here is I'll immediately go for like the, the basics. You know what I mean? What I want to do is I want to remove filler words. I want to remove dead space and I want to check audio. That should always be your main, like the main things you go for in video editing. So what you can do is you literally just click on these settings. It's amazing. And all you do is um, you have a listen to your sound. Let's have a listen to the sound here. I'm going to crank up the volume just as an example. So click play here. I had some Hey there guys. This is a demo video that we're going to be using in the script and so, so my audio is pretty good and that's because uh, I'm a a full-time YouTuber and I have really good mics and I'm really, you know, but sometimes audio, like things happen. Like even the best of us, things happen. All you'd have to do is click on the studio sound feature and it's now going to like completely change how your audio sounds. Cause chances are, if you're somewhat new to this, uh, the mic has issues, your phone, if you're recording on your phone, etc. Uh, this'll fix your sound and it'll blow your mind how good it is. Like it's scary. It's called studio sound for a reason. So just click on that. It'll fix it. it that in itself, I've had to use Descript and be like, this has arguably the best sound fixing like, enhancement in it like, by itself. Then what you do is click on remove filler words, and then it says find all filler words, and then it says, do I want to remove this? Um, sure, just click to remove all, and it's going to remove it based on the transcript. And it uses AI to do all this stuff, which is pretty crazy. You can also shorten word gaps. You can just shorten gaps like in all, like in itself. So this in itself is like a complete game changer. And a lot of times it'll, you can fix retakes. You just do remove retakes and just click on remove all. So right there, we've already saved a ton of time, guys. It used AI to take out all of the gaps where there's pauses. It took out, it used AI to essentially take out remover and filler words. It, en it used AI to en enhance your sound. So like right from the get go, this already feels like it's worth it. And to be honest, like it just it just keeps going, like all the AI stuff here. So if I click on here, um, I did the remove retakes. You can add chapters. You can also correct your eye contact. If you're one of those weirdos like myself, where you like, you know, like I have this huge underlying problem where like I have a camera set up, but like I'll sit here and stare like this because I'll get deep into thought. I don't know if I'm on the spectrum, like who who knows, but like this will cure it to the best of its ability. I will say that like if you're like drastically looking like this, it's not gonna like, it's not gonna be a complete game changer. You know, your eyes kind of have to be like looking at the camera and your eyeballs looking down here. It'll do its best to fix it. It's not like earth changing though, if I'm being completely honest. Um, 
But yeah, you can do green screen features. You can create clips with your video. Like it'll do the Opus clip effect where just like it'll use AI to create social media clips. That in itself is worth the money by itself, right? Because I think uh, another tool that uses this is Opus Clip. I think that's like 29 bucks a month in itself. So it's like, that's worth it in itself. Once you start using that, it's gonna be a game changer. Um, you can do, you change, you know, you choose how many clips you wanna make, you choose the clip duration, and it creates them. Like, it's real easy. Let's just click Submit on this just while we're talking. I can show you the results. Um, it does take a minute to do it. Did I do that correctly? Submit. Um, yeah, it's working. So then some of the other features, I mean, you can change background, you can change different layers, you can change sound effects, you can add um, anything a video editor has, like your generic video editor, Descript has it. And if at any point, guys, you wanna check out Descript, um, I'll throw my affiliate link in the description. I know it kind of sells, sounds like I'm trying to sell you a vacuum, but this is a complete game changer when it comes to video editing. And I'm not even like a sales person, you know what I mean? This tool is just like, it's that. It is the number one AI video editor on the plat like on the planet right now. And I think it, it deserves like it's credit for it. So you can add text, you can add waveforms, you can add audio, you can add annotations, you can add graphics overlays, uh, captions. I don't like captions that much. I feel like if you're making reels nowadays, you all need to chill with the captions if we're being completely honest because they're not cool anymore. They used to be cool. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll fix that. Some captions are cool. There's some cool captions where like people are like writing cursive and like different texts. Those ones are cool. Try to be different and unique with your content. And again, I, I might sound like I'm being cocky, but like I, I live and breathe this stuff every day. I'm completely obsessed. You know, I get millions of views every month on YouTube, just like organically. And uh, yeah, I'm at like a deep level with this. So give me a little bit of handicap. I, I'm not super cocky, but like this is what I live and breathe. And what's really cool, it, like this, th this is also a game changer. I know this. I know it sounds like I'm all like hypey, but like what you can do with your video is actually add B-roll. So when I when I click, if I bring up the video editor here, you know, like this is a front-facing video that's kind of boring, right? If we're being honest, if we click on here and have a listen, nobody wants to watch a video where someone is just talking to a front face cam for nine minutes. It's just, everybody hates that. What we want is to be distracted. That's where we need B-roll. And if you don't know what B-roll is, it's essentially the cool stuff that comes on screen while you're talking. And it has, the script has B-roll built into it. So this is really simple. All you kind of do is just click on show all and you can search for it. Say if I'm doing um, video editing, cause this actually, this edit, this video is on video editing. What I can do is click here and then I can add videos and it's going to import it in here. It'll just take a second here. And this is like stock footage that you can be using within your videos. So now if I scroll over, you can see here that our video isn't totally just about my face. And I can just click and drop and drag this. See if we have this listen, it goes for a little bit and then it goes to the cool footage of the, of the, of the video editor. And then I'll go back to my face and then I'll add more cool footage. And what you can do is kind of click on it and choose what B-roll you like. This is one of my favorite features of the tool. If I'm being completely honest, um, you can drop and drag how, how long you want the clip to be as well. Um, but yeah, it's the, like this is a complete game changer and your videos are gonna become so much better. Like, look at that, that's cool. Um, if I need, I need, I would advise you to have B-roll like four seconds long. See, it goes from my face, blah, 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 blah. And then now I have cool editing B-roll. And then you just continue to add this to all your videos. So my honest review on Descript, man, you know, you really, you need to watch this video before getting Descript because this is my honest review on it. This is a complete game changer. And if you're looking to save tons of time with video editing, this is exactly it. I, I don't, I, I'm not like trying to like fluff this up as something it's not. This is like a game changer video editor. Again, the links will be in the description. Also, if you wanna join my community, because I, I need more friends that are into this type of thing. Uh, I'll throw links in the description as well to the community. Uh, I have a group called Video Society for all of us that are in love with video and also I have photography stuff, um, just content creator in general. All the links will be in the description. Um, watch this before getting to script. This is my honest review on it. I talked about the pros. Um, there's way more pros than cons. I would say the the pros list is like, it's it, it saves you so much time with all these little features and then the cons, I would say the only con is it gets a tiny bit slow because your video has to upload onto the server. 
versus like some like mainstream video editors like DaVinci or like CapCut, whereas like it doesn't have to do that when it's on your actual computer. You know what I mean? But it also, a lot of those don't have the other AI features. And if I didn't even talk about, like if you're doing a podcast, it's it, their podcasting editing feature, mind blown. There's like nothing else like it. Like you got to check it out if you're doing podcasting. All right, guys, I'm going to get out of here because I'm a lunatic and I have to get back to work. All right, later.